All right, so first step on upgrade is remove all of the bumpers. The bumpers are killing the ground clearance. When it goes in in the driveway, it bottoms out. So once I remove all the bumpers, I've already got some right there done. Working on these over here. Once I get those off, I will probably cut the box, battery box off and put a new one on that's bigger and longer so I can put more batteries on. But yeah, I'm gonna take all that stuff off. But man, this thing, they have it listed on the website as 637 pounds, I think, or 537 pounds, and man, it is heavy. This thing is industrial. So I'm going to get to pulling all these off now, pulling everything off. And so right now, also, the volts go into the motor. It's only putting in 36 volts to the motor, even though I have 50 in the battery. The speed controller is good for about 70-ish. So... Um, yeah, what I got to do is get the pro, uh, controller reprogrammed. Don't know how long it's going to take me. Got to find a place that can do that because the controller is like the program is like 350 bucks for just a USB uh, connection and a little bit of software. So get that going, and if I can, I will reprogram the controller to dump all bolts to here. And then because this is a Sepex motor, which is really cool. That means I can um, do field weakening. I can adjust the parameters of that guy to allow for full current going through the, uh, I can't remember if it's the state of the armature, but to get full current to begin with, put for full, right now it's putting 36 volts initially and then it drops down to 15 afterwards, but I'll do something to where I still put full current on the inside and drop it down later. But I gotta play with that because I have to make sure I'm not uh, trying to gear the motor too high with that but that's just playing around with it all right well I tried taking them all out nice and correctly but some of them were so difficult the threads at the ends of here are so bent up there's one that's all it's bent over but the threads usually get dinged up right here so now I'm just gonna drill them out it's actually going really quick All right, so I've gotten all of the bumpers off. Makes it a little bit narrower. It's now 48 inches wide, I think. I'll measure it in a minute. Not too happy about that right there. Might have to put a piece of two by four or something on there to protect it. You can kind of see where they had the Optima yellow tops there. The half circles sitting everywhere. And here again, not happy about that. It's a good shin breaker if you hit someone. Don't hit anybody. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I think I can just unbolt these blue sections from the black frame. I'm pretty sure the blue just bolts on and I took off the steering cover I thought the steering felt funny and so yeah the steering rod was bent so everything was always not turning right interesting alright got the fender off I gotta tell you man these things are built like tanks this is a fender that's just you'd think it'd be pretty light let's see how much this fender weighs it's five pounds things five pounds heavy each one of these fenders is five pounds so I got at least 20 pounds of fenders this thing is built like a tank and it needs to be because it has idiots like me driving it running into stuff so I'm still in the process of getting the other parts stuff apart but yeah it looks like it all just bolts together there's another bolt right there I didn't even see so I gotta take the fender off I do have to take the fender off no matter what to get this thing apart I'll have to make a new attachment point for that not a big deal that's easy uh, and then it bolts right there and there. Probably have to take the fender off too. Bolts right there. 
bolts right there and I think I think 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 that's it we shall find out when we take it apart all right well there's another five pounds so now I just need to bust this guy off and then I should hopefully be able to pull out the cables and disconnect this whole battery box all right got another five pounds off and each one of these side pieces that one and that one are both about 21 22 pounds so we got 5 10 15 20 uh, 20 40 60 pounds all in this stuff just moving all the stuff off so a lot of weight Whew, now we're talking look at that now I just need to get rid of the seat belts and all the other safety equipment it already doesn't have brakes so can't get a whole lot unsafer than that so yeah sweet well I still haven't figured exactly out figured out exactly what I'm gonna do but I think I'm gonna do something like this to where I can stick a battery pack on each side each one of those is about two kilowatt hours so the whole thing would have four kilowatt hours which would be enough uh, and this thing can do 20 no 10 C so four kilowatt hours would be 40 kilowatts which is way more than this would do so, yep that's where I'm at and I put the rear fenders back on just because I wanted to protect the belt protect hair from getting at the belt because don't want anybody getting scalped I have you know that happens or it has happened so yep and I still want to get rid of this thing right here I can't I don't know what I'm going to do here but do something.